casket carrying the remains of a sailor killed in action arrived at Kansas City International Airport today, greeted by gray skies, an honor guard, and some family. That sailor killed in the attack on Pearl Harbor more than 80 years ago. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco live at KCI tonight to explain how the sailor finally made it home. Dave. Yeah, it came home to more than just gray skies, really a driving rainstorm. But the Navy and his family were out here to make sure that he still had a hero's welcome 80 years later. This story is 80 years in the making and uh, never thought that 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 this would ever happen. Kansas and Missouri family knew of Seaman First Class Wilbur Newton and his ultimate sacrifice. And I remember this particularly in junior high when it really hit me that uh, she had lost a first cousin at Pearl Harbor and nobody really knew what had happened to him. But the only place they could honor him was with the rest of the lost 429 and what's called the Punch Bowl. Unidentified remains from the USS Oklahoma were buried in 45 graves at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific until 2015. That's when the military began the process of trying to identify them. I want to thank, thank his cousins and, and, and his aunt that, that gave the DNA um, because if it wouldn't have been for, for those three, we wouldn't be here today. Today, the day Wilbur Newton finally came home. As the plane landed in the rain, fire trucks poured more water in salute. Then as the plane made its way to the gate, the family was there and the Navy ready to render honors. It's a huge honor these, you know, to be able to bring these gentlemen back home after 80 years and to finally give them the recognition uh, that they deserve and the closure for their families. Service members carried the flag draped coffin to a hearse for a procession to Mound City. When we found that marker, we knew. We knew that was the place uh, to bring him home to. Where Newton will be buried next to his parents, who both died in the 1940s. Now, people can pay their respects up in Mound City at the Pettijohn and Crawford Funeral Home on Thursday and Friday. And then after the memorial service, there is going to be full military honors over at Mount Hope's Cemetery on Saturday.